Okay, welcome to the uh, history and documents then for this Skoda Octavia. Uh, I mean, we've got a lot of documents here, as you'll see, there's uh, going to be a five minute uh, doc section. So, we'll start with the V5, just shows uh, two keepers in total. There was a doctor before the keeper that I took it back in part exchange off. Uh, so, it was registered in 2001 November. Uh, it's an o uh, Octavia Elegance T, so it's the turbo, uh, 4x4 estate car. Uh, 214 grams per kilometer and is colored green uh, so just two keepers and a lot of the history is uh, up to date until 2007 when this uh, mr webb took the car on and it's had it serviced by um, a sort of a friend associate who hasn't supplied him with any history but it has been looked after in his ownership it's just that all this is just up to the 2007 mark so what have we got well we've got a lot of old mot's here virtually all the old mot's to show uh, that the mileage is warranted. Okay, it is 197,900 miles, but it's nice to see it. And the previous MOT had no advisories on, that was done at 169,000 miles. There was the original uh, purchase uh, advert, uh, auto trader advert, in 2007 when Mr. Webb bought the car. It looks like there, was, there were some roof bars on it at some point, but uh, they're not with it now. We bought another Skoda Octavia off of me, so we probably kept them. Uh, what have we got? We've got this, uh, Auto Express um, road test on the Octavia. Might be able to get a couple of quid off of eBay for that. And uh, the original Octavia sales brochure from uh, Skoda themselves. And a few other bits of trim and things. So that's probably when all the car was bought new. Um, Owner's manuals, all supplied there with uh, the service history book, which you'll see, as well as the CD multi changer instructions and uh, the audio um, audio controls and all the rest of it. So a uh, proper load of books and things there, which is always nice to have. A bit of bedtime reading, as they say. Uh, the MOT is valid until November the 7th, 2013 and uh, two tyres were advised on, so two near side tyres, front and rear were advisories with the V5. The service book is stamped up, uh, loaders, lovely stamps actually, so the first owner really did keep the car in perfect condition. Um, so main dealer stamps times two there, 18, 29, 40, 45, 54, 66, 71, uh, 76, 89, uh, 94 and then 104. Uh, tooth belt was replaced at 104k on there. Don't think it was done before that. Just run back through these ticked boxes. Uh, no, 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 no. So 104k was the last uh, cam belt change in the book there. Um, there are owners, more instruction manuals. There are previous bills and receipts then for all those um, stamps, or pretty much all of them. Uh, this looks like a biggish bill here in 2007. Uh, 605 pounds included uh, cam belt service that was the cam belt kit so that must have been that uh, mileage of 104k yes it was so 605 pounds spent then nice to see all this alas none of it uh, really is much to do with the second keeper but anyway it's all there so a nice bit of service history and there are two keys with the car to go okay then so I hope that's answered pretty much all your questions there. I know it's also had a rear stainless steel exhaust box fitted and I think some springs have been replaced as well. Okay, back to the car.